Hey friends, I just finished a glutes focused workout on Instagram live. It's 30 minutes and if you want to do the workout, watch the rest of this video. And if you guys don't know who I am, my name is Gia. I'm the creator of the Dough It Well. We make crave-worthy protein treats like cinnamon rolls and bread. <laughs> if you guys aren't following me on uh, Insta, you can do this. Eat, laugh, lift. <laughs> All right, guys, enjoy your workout. Have a great day. If you have any questions about the exercises or want to um, request specific workouts at home or whatever, um, put it in the comments below. Enjoy. Hi, Mar. Hey, Khalil. Hi, Kenny. What's up, Joe? <laughs> We're going to start our workout at, in about three minutes, guys. Just keep moving. Keep your body moving and let's get warm. Today is a glute focus day. All you guys are going to need is a wall and a resistance band. Darla, <laughs> Darla's over here. Come here, Darla. You know what? So every day, well, I make her food for her. It's um, rice, lamb, either green beans or broccoli or peas. I know I'm vegan. She's not. Anyways, um, her least favorite vegetable is green beans. <laughs> so she leaves her green beans and she's begging for her treat right now. Um, but she hasn't finished her green beans. and She can only get her treat after she finishes. So that's why she's kind of like acting weird. Thanks, Mar. Okay, guys, just keep your, your bodies moving. For those that are doing the workout with me today, get ready. Get your body warm. Move it. Move whatever makes you feel good. Although we're doing a glute focused workout, all of our muscles are connected, right? So even if you're moving your arms, stretching your backs, that's a good thing. If you want to bring your knees up to your chest, that's a good thing. <laughs> our dogs are... <laughs> Our dogs deserve it, right, V? <laughs> hey, friends. Hey, Sylvia. Games, Joe, games. <laughs> okay, we've got about one minute until we officially start our workout, guys. Let's start warming up. I need to put my phone on. Do not disturb. One second. Okay, there. My mom's texting me. <laughs> She's trying to get on. She'll figure it out. <laughs> Out there, if you're on right now, can you help mommy, please? Thanks. <laughs> okay, guys, keep your body moving. I've got the workout here to my to my right, probably your left. So if you see me looking that way, that's what I'm doing. I've also got a timer here. Um, and I'll start explaining the workout just when 9 a.m. hits. Hi, Ade. Can you help mommy find um, Instagram, please? <laughs> Tell her, Instagram, home button, circle picture with green. <laughs> Click that. <laughs> okay, guys, it's officially 9 a.m., so we're going to go ahead and get started again. Welcome, everybody. Thanks for doing Glutes Focus Day. I've got the workouts here on my right. That's what you're going to see me looking down at. Um, I have my timer over here as well. And all you're going to need, guys, today for today's workout, a resistance band, if you have it. If not, I have variations for, for it. Other than that, you're going to need a wall, and you're going to need somewhere to lay down on the floor because we're going to do some floor work. Um, not like the workouts that I've done before where we were counting reps. We're actually going to do timed workouts today. Uh, we're going to do three tri-sets, which means with it, a tri-set is a combination of three different exercises. We're doing three tri-sets three times, if we can get to it. Uh, we've got 30 minutes for this workout, so let's just get go ahead and get going. Let's spend a couple of minutes stretching out our legs, our back, and our hamstrings and our glutes. Okay, guys, what I want us to start doing first is I want us to just bring our knees to our chest. We're just warming up, just warming up all those connective tissues, all those muscles. If you guys see me moving around, it's just because I want to show you different angles. You don't need to move around. Can you guys hear me okay? Give me a thumbs up if you can, please. Okay, next I want us to do Circles, bring your knees around and circle. You're opening up your inner thigh muscle, okay? Don't force it. If it's too tight for you, go at the pace where you feel that slight stretch, and then you can progressively go wider and wider. 
and want us to stretch out our hammy or our quads and I just want us to bring our ankle to our hands bring it up bring it forward back forward back forward back <laughs> remember that dance okay other leg back forward back forward back forward back forward okay guys we've been warming up for just about two minutes so let's get started in the first workout the first tricep that we're going to do guys is air squats and then we're going to do stiff leg back leg lifts um and um side raises so i'm going to show you. you guys know what a squat looks like and while i'm demonstrating guys if you're not familiar do them with me or even do them with me just to get your body warm squats right we're going to do this for 30 seconds that's the first of the tricep the next of the tricep is if you have a resistance band you can put it back you can put it on you but what I really want us to focus on is getting our leg par parallel to the ground. So this is going to be really hard with the resistance band. But I want you to lean on the f lean your body to the wall, and I want you to bring your leg all the way back as parallel as you can. Okay. And then the last one is the side raises. So side raises is simply lifting your leg off the floor going to focus on your side glutes. What I want you to think about, guys, is when you're lifting that leg off the floor, I want your heel to be pointing outward and not your toe, okay? Heel pointing outward slightly, just to really focus on that glute. We're going to do 30 seconds each, um, and then 30 seconds on each side, okay? So the first one we're going to do, guys, is squats. If you want to put your resistance band, by all means, go ahead and do it. I'm going to put the timer on now. 30 seconds, squats, let's go. Remember, keep your chest up. We're working out our bum, so make sure you're really sticking that bum out. Pretend like you've got a seat behind you that you want to really sit down on, but you just can't find it, so you have to go back up. And when you're back up, I want you to squeeze that glute, those glutes at the top. Good job, guys. Everybody's squat stance is different for their comfort factor, um, and they dip, work out different parts of the muscle. Okay, so the next one is stiff leg raises. So back to your wall, 30 seconds, we're gonna bring it up. Raise it up and down, up and down, up and down. You should feel the top of your glutes starting to activate now. Good job, guys. Keep going. Next leg, 30 seconds. Up and down. Try to bring that leg parallel to the floor. It should be straight back. Again, you should feel the top of your glutes being squeezed together. Make sure that you are really thinking about driving your heel up to the sky and bringing your leg parallel to the ground. I thought this timer thing would be easier, but it, um, it doesn't get nearly hard. Okay. The next one we have is side raises. If you have your resistance band, perfect time to put them on. If you do not have a resistance band, this is what I want you doing. I want you laying on the ground, just like this, and I want you to lift your leg. Okay? That's if you do not have a resistance band. If you do have a resistance band, I want you to put them on right now and raise it to the side. Keep your legs straight. Keep that heel pointed out just a little bit, not your toe. And you should start feeling it to your side glutes. Good job, guys. We're going to switch to our other leg in just about nine seconds. I can't see you guys from over here, but now you're working out your outer side glutes, right? Switch to your other leg. Lift. Good job, guys. Lift your leg as far as you can without 
that's straining. Make sure your core is engaged so you are, um, your whole body is protected and you're not going to pull anything. We've got about six seconds, guys. Okay. That was our first of the tricep. How'd that, guy, how'd that go for you guys? Hi, Mommy. Glad you're in. Hi, Ate. Okay. Was that good for you guys? Uh, we can put it up to a minute if it's not hard enough for you. Um, get a little bit of water, guys. And we're going to do that tricep two more times. So while you guys are resting, let me explain to you the tricep again. Because we're just going to go straight into it. I'm not going to pause to, to explain the movement. First exercise in the tricep, squats. Okay? Next exercise in the tricep, straight leg kick back your top boot to hold that cup at the top. And then we go into side raises. Straight leg, pointing your heel outward. If you do not have resistance bands, I want you laying down and doing this movement. By laying down, guys, you're using gravity as an added weight, added tension. Okay, are we ready? V, looks like you're ready. <laughs> okay, here we go. I'm actually gonna. How do I? Hmm. Okay. All right. We're gonna do 30 seconds. Squats first. Ready? Set. Go. Squats. 30 seconds, guys. We got this. We can do it. Stick that bum out. Chest up. Remember, pretend like you're sitting on a chair, or trying to sit on a chair. Top, squeeze those glutes. Drive your knees outward to really engage your glutes. That's how you really engage your glutes during squats, okay? Next, we're going to leg raises to your wall. Right leg. Try to get that leg parallel. If you have a resistance band, a huge tuffy one like mine, you may not get all the way parallel, and that's okay. Get as high as you can. If you don't have a resistance band, get it all the way parallel. Feel that glute contract right here at the top. Switch leg. Good job, guys. Really think about your glutes. What I want you visualizing in your head is I want you thinking about your glutes really contracting. Imagine the, your glute muscles contracting. Good job, guys. Don't forget to breathe. Breathe for me. <laughs> Next, side raises. Again, if you do not have resistance bands, I want you laying on the floor, please. And doing that same motion. Instead of the resistance band giving you that added tension, gravity is giving you that added tension. Remember with this exercise, point your heel outward. Not your toe, your heel. Because you're really going to help engage your glutes by pointing your heel outward. Okay, switch legs. This is the end of our second set in our tricep. <laughs> Good job, guys. If you're not feeling it, really think about driving your heel to the side, to the sky, kicking the soccer ball that way with your heel. Whatever gets you to feel your glutes activated. Good job, guys. Okay, take a rest. We have one more of that tricep. <laughs> Hey guys, thanks for joining. How are you guys holding up? Drinking water. Stay hydrated throughout the whole thing. You guys have heard me before. It's really hard talking and working out, so I'm going to not use my resistance bands just so I can focus better on my own exercise. Um, but you guys, by all means, use your resistance bands. 
right now if you still can, okay? We're going to get ready to go with our next tricep, our last tricep for this combination. Squats, um, uh, rear, rear uh, raises, and then side raises, okay? Ready, set, go. 30 seconds. Here we go. We got this. You're awesome, mommy. <laughs> I, I'm a... Uh, I can't believe I can see this far. Good job, guys. We're almost there. You're going to feel it in your quads, too, and that's okay. That's a good thing. One second. Rear raises. Take it all the way back. Try to get parallel to the ground. I want you to really think about squeezing your glute when you get to the top. Good job, guys. Almost there. We're about to switch legs in two seconds. Okay, switch. job. Squeeze that glute. Squeeze it. Squeeze it. Squeeze it. You want that glute? You want that shelf? You got to work and you got to squeeze those glutes. And during the workouts, the glute workouts don't make your glutes look all glamorous. <laughs> but that's part of the fun. <laughs> okay, we have two more seconds and we're going to side raises. Side raises 30 seconds. Again, guys, if you don't have resistance bands, I want you laying on the floor. But because I don't get to do my normal breathing, these exercises are a little bit harder for me. So I'm doing it standing up. But if you can't do it on the floor and they're too hard for you, you can do it standing up too. We have about five seconds, and then we're going to switch legs, guys. Switch legs, 30 seconds. Good job. You should feel your glutes burning a little bit. Okay. We're almost done. This is our last few reps for this exercise. And then we're moving on to our next tricep. <laughs> we have three seconds, guys. You can do this. You got this. Okay. Good job, guys. <laughs> Our next tricep, drink some water. Our next tricep are plie lunges, parallel side kicks, and rear side kicks. So this is what it's gonna look like. Plie lunges look like this. We're just stepping back and crossing our foot behind us, okay? Stepping back and crossing our foot. This is what I want you to think about. I want you to think about as though you're trying to sit down, but you can't again, right? So you're really thinking about bringing your butt up. I don't want you like this. This is not the movement. This is the movement to get your glutes engaged, okay? Same idea. Okay. And then the next one, we're back at the wall. We're going to do parallel side kicks and rear side kicks. This is going to be hard for you to have a resistance band on just because I'm asking you to go high. Um, but if you can do it with a resistance band, more power to you. So, side kick. Okay. I want you to think about keeping that leg parallel to the floor. And I want you kicking outward with your heel. Not your toes, with your heel. Your heel stretches all of these muscles out here and then pulls on that glute and activates it a little bit more. The same concept for the rear kick. I want both hands on the wall, and I want you to kick backwards with your heel. I don't, want, I don't want your toes pointing like this. I want your heel up and out. And I want you to feel, to lift your leg to the point where you can feel your glutes contract. Okay? Ready? Let's go. Okay, we're going to do, we're going to do it different from the last tricep. 
we're going to do it um, right leg first and then left leg. So we're going to do right leg plie lunges, right leg kicks, and then left leg plie lunges, left leg kicks. Okay, ready? I'm going to start a couple so you guys can get used to it and do my right leg back plie lunges. And I'm going to get started. 30 second count. Here we go. Remember, think about sitting back on a chair to really get your glutes engaged. This is a really good target for this, this part of your glute right here, this giant glute muscle. The glutes have three muscles in here. Did you know that? <laughs> okay, guys, we have 15 seconds here. If your left leg is in the front, I want you to start your kicks with your left leg. If your right leg is in the front right now, I want you to start your kicks with your right leg. To our kicks, side kick, here we go. My left leg is in the front, so now I'm doing side kicks with my left leg. 30 seconds. If you guys can't keep your leg up all the time, it's okay. Bring it down to the floor, rest for a second, and bring it back up. Imagine you had cables tied to your ankles like you would at the gym for weights. The same concept, okay? We're going to go rear kicks in one second. Let's go. Both hands on the wall. I want you to kick out. Feel that glute really contract at the top of your kick. Good job, guys. You're almost there. Right after this, we're going straight into the other leg's plate lunges. You've got three seconds. Okay, straight into plie lunges. If your left leg is in the front now, keep your right leg in the front. Okay, ready, set, go. Good job, guys. Really think about sitting back. If it makes, if it helps you to feel your glutes activate, put the hand on your glute and think about it. Feel it. Feel the blood rushing to it and feel it get activated, okay? Or it should already be activated by now, but you should really feel it. Seven seconds left. We're gonna go to side kicks. Whatever foot is in the front, that's the kick that I want you to do. Side kicks, here we go. Kick with your heel, parallel to the ground. Pretend like you're kicking, I don't know, a bad person away. <laughs> you have 12 seconds. You wanna kick with your heel, Never with your toe if you're kicking somebody, right? Don't kick anybody unless you absolutely have to. Okay? Disclaimer. <laughs> Three seconds, guys. We're going to do rear kicks shortly. Here we go. Rear kicks. Let's go. Both hands to the wall. Rear kick until you feel that glute really contract at the top of your kick. Try to bring it parallel to the ground. Good job, guys. Good job, guys. We're just, we're just gonna do that tricep one more time, and then we're gonna move to our next set because I want to make sure that I respect the time slot that I gave you guys. So, take your sip of water. Remember, we're gonna go straight into it, okay? Play squats, one leg, then side kicks, that same leg, rear kicks, that same leg. Then we're gonna swap directly to the opposite leg, play, play lunges, pardon me, and then side kick, and then rear kick, okay? Giving you last one last chance to get a sip of water. <laughs> Hi, Pedro. Hi, Rakesh. Monster Schnauzer is my sister. Give her grief. She's super fit. I don't know why she's complaining. Ready? Play lunges. Let's go. 30 seconds. We got this. You got this. I got this. I'm running on no caffeine. I'm running on no caffeine. I'm actually running on no caffeine in an effort to just long-term get rid of my headaches. I've been having some super major ugh, headaches. They get worse as the day passes. Um, and I know the caffeine withdrawal is not going to help with it, but long-term. It should subside and get a lot better. 
We're gonna go to side kicks in one second. Let's go. Heel, heel, heel. I'll show you different angles. Okay? Bring that heel parallel to the ground as best as you can. It's not gonna be easy, but working out's not supposed to be easy, otherwise it would be not fun and challenging. Part of the fun of working out is the challenge, right? And the gains and the curves. Two seconds, guys. Rear kick. Here we go. I'm going to take a couple of seconds to actually just breathe. So I'm going to go silent for a little bit. Good job, guys. Kick backward. Feel that beat. Kick with your heel, remember. Even if you're doing this with cables, really think about doing this with kicking with your heel to stretch the calves, the hammies, and engage that glute. We've got two seconds, and we're moving to play lunges, opposite leg. Let's go. Whatever leg you were working out earlier, we're doing the opposite right now. Play lunges, this is our last round for this tricep, and then we move directly into our last triceps, <laughs> depending on how many times we can do it. The last one, I think, is actually going to be super fun. Um, come on, Mommy, you got this. I can't see who else is over there. I'm too blind. Okay, we have three seconds, and we're going to side kicks. Side kicks, here we go. Kick out with that heel. If there's anything that I want you guys to take away from this workout, is when you are doing leg raises, when you're doing kicks, and you're looking to target your glutes, think about your heel position. Now, I don't want to be super exaggerated like this, but think about feeling how different your glutes are engaged when your heel is pointed slightly outward. One second, here we go. Rear kick, straight back. As though you're taking something away behind you. Again, I don't want your your I want your toes pointing uh, inward towards you and your heel pointing outward, okay? We have about 10 seconds. I'm showing you guys different angles here. Keep going. You've got this. Two. One. Good job, guys. Okay. We have our last try set. <laughs> hey, power parents. Hey, Ricky. Okay. Our last tricep. <laughs> Drink your water while I explain. Catch your breath. Catch your breath for me. This last tricep, depending on how many times you can do this, guys. We only have six minutes. We're doing hip thrusts. And then we're doing um, leg lifts uh, with holding the band or holding something. Or if you don't have it, clamping your feet together. Let me show you. Uh, what was the first one? Hip thrust. So hip thrust, if you have a resistance band, I want you to put them around your thighs right here. And this is the motion. We're just going to go up and down. There's no pausing. And as best as possible, don't let your bum touch the ground. I want the resistance the whole time. Okay? Drive your knees outward. The, the next exercise, so actually this is not a tricep. This is a superset. It's simply this movement. The resistance band is being held between my feet. It's not on my legs, not on my thighs. I'm clamping it between my feet. And I'm simply pushing my knees outward and lifting my butt up. As best as possible, I want you to keep your chest down to the ground, okay? Oh, here's a doozy. The hip thrusts are for a minute. <laughs> a minute and then the leg lifts are gonna be 30 seconds. Okay, here we go, guys. You got this. Hip, hip thrust. One minute. Let's go. If you have your resistance band, if you have your resistance band, put it on. Drive your knees outward. It's not going to work as well if you're not pushing your knees outward. And I want you to think about only raising your hips because your glutes are contracting. Okay? Really think about your glutes contracting. Good job.
job, guys. And if it helps you, you can close your knees a little bit as you go down. And when you come up, uh, widen those knees out. If that's what helps you, keep your legs and your knees apart. Okay, we have 10 seconds. Good job, guys. In about five seconds, we're taking that resistance band off. We're turning on our chest, and we're putting it between our feet. This is going to be awkward for the first time for you guys. Clamp that resistance band between your feet. Hold it there. I'll give you a few times to get used to it. Hold that resistance band. Knees apart. And just lift it up, okay? As though you have somebody in front of you and you're trying to give that resistance band to them. And your only method of doing it is with your feet. 30 seconds, let's go. Good job, guys. Try to keep that chest to the floor. I don't want you overarching your back. Really lift. If you're not feeling in your glutes, you gotta lift more. This one's a doozy. We're almost there, guys. We got this. A couple more seconds. Here we go. Okay. Okay, let's do that one more time. And then that'll be the end of our exercise to hit the 30 minute mark. All right, guys, we're gonna do. Um, we're going to do hip thrusts into the glute raises that I just mentioned. Okay, so get your resistance band back on your legs. Ready? Knees apart. One, one minute. Here we go. Try your best not to bring your glutes all the way down to the ground. And really think about Pushing your knees outward as you get to the top. And you're bringing your hips up, remember, by squeezing your glutes together. Heels to the ground, squeeze those glutes together. I know the visual seems a little weird, but that's what you have to do when you're working out, is really think about your muscles being engaged, and can you feel it? If you haven't been thinking about that while you've been working out, you guys really have to try to enforce it in your workouts. It's a game changer because then it makes you relax when your form is off. If you're not feeling it in that muscle, then there's something that you have to tweak within your form, or maybe the weight's not heavy enough, or, or maybe you're not doing enough reps. We have five more seconds, guys. I think we got this. And then we're doing our last exercise. Okay. Swap over. Take that resistance band off. I want it in between your feet. Laying on your chest, 30 seconds, here we go. Good job, guys. Hey, we're like, we're laying on the floor together. <laughs> really drive your heels up into the sky as much as you can. Remember, like you give that resistance band to somebody in front of you. We're almost there. You got this, we got this. That's it, guys. Congratulations. You have worked out your glutes for 30 minutes. I hope that was good for you guys. Um, I'm sweating up a storm, but I feel like I want to go for a walk or something. Um, if you guys want to stay on for the next couple minutes and stretch out with me, you're more than welcome to. Otherwise, thank you guys for joining. I hope that was good. If you have any questions, I'll do my best to read through the comments and see what questions you guys have, anything that you want to, um, anything that you want to know about. And if you're not following me on YouTube, go to Eat, Laugh, Lift on YouTube. Um, I do post these workouts on YouTube as well as other things like recipes and other random stuff on there as well. Okay, guys. I'm off to stretching land. Bye, Aya. If you're trying to touch your toes with me, go down as far as you can and don't, do not force that stretch. Only feel it till you feel it stretch just a little bit. And over time, with it, each rep, you'll feel it go down. You can go down a bit lower, okay? My other favorite stretch, 
for your inner hamstrings. You've seen me do this before. We don't really post on it because it just looks too, too much. On the floor, spread your knees apart and sit back. You should feel it in your inner hands, in your inner thighs rather. This stretch here, guys, is just stretching out your glutes as well as your sort of outer thighs and rear thighs. Okay, guys, that is it. I'm out for the day. See ya. Have a good day, guys. Thanks for joining. Bye, V. Thanks for coming.